Hi friends, welcome to my channel. As you can tell from the title, today I'm going to be trying my hand at a TBR game. So back in October, I started playing around with the idea of starting my own TBR game. I wasn't sure what I wanted it to be like, I played around with a bunch of ideas, and then I realized, what do I love even more than I love books? Taylor Swift. So I decided to create a TBR game around Taylor Swift. I didn't know how I wanted this to look. I played around with the idea of making it a board game, kind of like Litland or TBR Pursuit. And I basically assigned a prompt to every single Taylor Swift song in my phone. And then I just kind of stopped with the idea because I didn't know what I wanted it to look like. And then I saw Emma's video about the Tis the Damn Readathon. If you didn't know, Tis the Damn Readathon is a readathon put on by a bunch of lovely booktubers. It takes place for the entire month of March and it's basically a bingo board based Taylor Swift themed readathon. So I am super super excited about that and I decided that it was the perfect time to pull out my new TBR game. So instead of doing a board because I'm not super artistic and I wasn't sure how I wanted it to look, I just decided that I was going to make a playlist on my phone called Taylor TBR and put every single Taylor Swift song that I owned onto this playlist and then I'm just going to hit shuffle and whatever song I get is the prompt that I will fulfill in the month. This month is extra tricky because I also want to get a bingo, so I want to get all the boards, basically all of the albums for Tis the Damn Readathon, but I also want to fit every one of the prompts that I shuffle. It's super simple. I have like something like 250 songs on this playlist. There are duplicates because I own multiple versions of the same album. I own the deluxe album as well as the normal album. I own the clean and the explicit versions you get the idea. So I do have a couple little rules. The first rule is that if I get a song twice when I shuffle, I have to add an extra song. That means if I get the exact song more than once, but it also means if I get a live version, if I get the clean version, the explicit version, you get the idea. If I get a song twice, I have to add a song prompt. The other rule I actually took from Dart Attack. I will link all of these videos that I'm getting inspiration from down below. I'm sure you've seen them, but if you haven't, I'll link them down below. I took this idea from Dart Attack where if I get an album more than three times in any month, I will have to add a song. There is an extra twist. If I do get a song twice, I won't do that prompt twice. I have a section of my prompts that are just like other, and I think I have about 20 of them. I will get a random number generator to randomly generate me a number, and I will pick one of those prompts to be my extra prompt for that month. I'm hoping this makes sense. If it doesn't, hopefully you'll catch on as I play, but I'm super excited. I'm also like really, really nervous because the prompts for Tizzler Damn Readathon don't exactly line up for the prompts that I have. So even if I get like our song, I think the prompt for Tis the Damn Readathon is a song it's, uh, about music. I don't actually know what my prompt is for that. I don't think it's that. Some of them line up, some of them do not. And I'm just hoping that this goes well. So I am going to shuffle eight songs because there are eight Taylor Swift albums and hope for the best. Hope that I can somehow squeeze my prompts with the Tis the Damn Readathon prompts and it's going to be kind of a mess. There are some books that I, I don't have to read in March but I do want to read in March so hopefully I don't have to read more than eight books in March but we will see. And without more rambling on about this. Let's get into it. Alrighty, so I'm pulling up my Taylor TBR playlist on my phone. Let's just do it. First up, Sweeter Than Fiction. Okay, all of my prompts are just on a notepad on my phone. I'm hoping to make like a Google Doc of some sort so I can actually put it up. Hopefully that's done by the time I upload this video, but if it's not, it's coming. And when it's done, it will be in the description. So the first prompt, sweeter than fiction, I have a classic love story. Okay. 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 
So for Sweeter Than Fiction, a classic love story, which I think is funny because this book is definitely not sweet and some would probably argue this isn't a classic love story, I'm gonna read New Moon. Um, I'm starting a Twilight reread this month, so I'm going to continue that next month and read New Moon. I'm really intrigued on how I'm gonna feel about this series. I actually haven't started Twilight yet, but I hope to soon. Um, this was my least favorite when I read it originally and when I reread it and when I reread it again. So I'm intrigued to see how I feel about it now. Classic loose depiction. This is also going to check off my 1989 prompt as a book with a morally gray character. I would say Edward is morally gray in certain ways. Um, because you know it's just it's it's not it's not healthy it's not healthy what goes on in here i'm definitely loosely using these prompts and you know what it's my game it's my rules edward is going to count as my morally great character maybe i'll read another book that will fit that prompt better but as of right now that's what's gonna <laughs> that's what's gonna be used right now but let's just do this ah red okay i'm pretty sure that i know the prompt for this. Yes. For me, my prompt, red is a book with red on the cover. Very original, I know. Okay, red on the cover. So this is going to count as my red on the cover as well as the red prompt. And this is Kent State by Deborah Wiles. I got this at Yalsa a few years ago. I met Deborah Wiles. I am such a huge Deborah Wiles fan growing up. She was like one of my favorite authors and I got her to sign this and then I never read it. So this is an ARC that was published April 21st, 2020. Um, it's about the Kent State Massacre and what happened. I really want to get to this. It looks fairly easy. I think it's a lot in verse actually, which is very cool. And I kind of wanted to throw myself softball with this one, so it's here. Okay, third shuffle. Blank space. Alrighty, alrighty. Blank space, a New York Times bestseller. Okay, okay. Okay, Blank Space, New York Times bestseller. This is also going to count as my buzzwordathon book because the buzzword for March is time. And the only book I have on my TBR that has that word in it is This Time Next Year by Sophie Cousins. I meant to read this around Christmas and New Year because I believe that's when it's set. But you know what? We're going to get to it now. It's fine. I, I hope I get to it anyway. I am not totally sure. I believe these people, the only thing they have in common is that they were born on the same day at the same hospital and they keep running into each other. That's all I know. Shuffle number four. The Lakes, the Long Pond Studio Sessions. All right, The Lakes is poetry. Oh God, that threw a wrench in a lot of things. Um, okay, I guess that makes sense. Take me to the lakes where all the poets went to die. I, can we just comment on a fact? For a second, I didn't remember why Blank Space was New York Times bestseller, but I kind of get like, I've got a Blank Space baby and I'll write your name, like becoming a New York Times bestselling author on the list. I don't know, it made sense to me. Alrighty, the lakes, poetry. The only poetry-esque book I have on my TBR is Clap When You Land by Elizabeth Acevedo. This is written in verse. I read The Poet X last year and loved it. And it was actually one of the first books I'd ever read in verse. It made me realize I really like novels in verse. So I'm really excited to get into this. This I believe is about two girls who have the same father but they don't know about each other because one lives in the Dominican Republic and one lives in the United States and then his plane crashes I believe is the element of this. I'm very excited about this. This is also going to be my lover prompt. For lover the prompt is five star prediction. I gave the poet x five stars so I am pretty confident that I'm also going to be giving this five stars. All right num song number five Tim McGraw, a classic, the classic, the first. 
I hope the prompt has something to do with that. Tim McGraw, the very first prompt, I see it. Debut author. Okay, Tim McGraw, a debut author. For this, I'm going to be reading Cinderella is Dead by Kaylin Bayron. I have heard very good things about this. I know very little about it. I believe it is a spinoff of Cinderella, which is why it's also going to count for my folklore <laughs> prompt, which is a retelling or a story based in mythology. It is a retelling, I am assuming, because it's called Cinderella is Dead. I don't know anything about this. I've actually forgotten everything that I did know about it. So I'm very excited to be going into this book blind because I love going into books blind. Okay, shuffle number six. Mine. I'm getting a lot of like singles. That's fun. Okay, mine. An author's third book. Okay. I'm also open to suggestions. I will admit having to come up with a prompt for every single one of these songs was really hard and I definitely ran up, ran out of ideas at certain points. So if you notice that there's a prompt that is missing that you think would be really good or you have an idea for a prompt that you think fits a song better than what I have, please let me know. I'm very open to editing this. I was going quite brain dead. So let me know your suggestions. This was so hard. So mine, an author's third book, I had to go through every author on my TV, not everyone, but I kind of had to like look around and be like, was that their third book? Was that their third book? And I hit the jackpot because Megan Golden's third book was The Night Swim. I've wanted to read this since it came out and I'm super excited about it. I know it has a podcast element and an element of like trying to solve a crime and I love that kind of stuff. I loved Sadie, which had a podcast element, so I'm really excited to read this. But it also counts as my reputation prompt. The Look What You Made Me Do prompt is a book that has been recommended to you. I've heard about this book all over booktube, but it was also recommended to me by my friend Sydney, who read this and gave it a five star. All right, roll number, or roll, shuffle number seven. Blank space. Okay. All right. So that's the second time we got that exact song. I've noticed that my phone kind of hates me when I shuffle because it like plays the same shit over and over. It's not that random. That's fine. All right. So blank space. That means we're now doing nine songs instead of eight, which means we're doing nine books instead of eight. And I now have to go to my randoms category. I have 20 prompts so I now have to randomly number generate. I got 11. Oops. Number 11 is Karen. Karen is this giant snake on the reputation tour and the prompt for this is snake on the cover or in the title. Okay Karen, a book with a snake on the cover or in the title. I realized I have like no books with snakes on them. Uh, so this was hard, but I did find one, and that is The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes by Suzanne Collins. I have this on ebook. I was super excited when this came out initially, and then I heard less than great things, so it really just got pushed to the back of my mind, and I have yet to read it. I'm not that excited about it, but it was literally the only book on my TBR with a snake, so I didn't really have a choice. Eighth Shuffle. I wish you would. Okay, okay. All right, so now here comes the part where I have to decide if that is three songs from 1989 and if that rule only applies for like individual songs. I think that's kind of what I'm going for with that. Um, that three rule, it's not like, okay, I got blank space twice. But I think I might have to because I got blank space twice from the 1989 album. All right. All right. We're going to add one more song. We're at 10 now. Um, okay. I wish you would. Least reviews on TBR. Okay. So the least rated book on my TBR with five ratings is only because I chose the exact edition when I was putting it into my TBR. So it this exact edition only have five, has five ratings, but it's what's on my TBR. So that book is Tess of the Dobervilles by Thomas Hardy. I have no idea if I'm pronouncing that correctly.
<sighs> no! Can I get this to fit for Tis the Damn Readathon? Let's see. So I have decided that while this is the least rated book on my TBR, it also has a couple of movie adaptions, which works out so well. The Speak Now prompt, if this was a movie, a book with a film adaption, this has been made into like five movies, so it counts. I've never seen any of them, I don't really want to see any of them, but it has them, so that's what I'm reading it for. Okay, Shuffle 9. Okay, my my phone, I think I'm gonna have to figure out a way to do this, because my phone gave me blank space from 1989 again, so... If someone understands, like, the way your phone randomly shuffles songs and why this happens to me, that would be great because that's really annoying. So we're gonna go randomly generate a number again. 13! How lovely. How lovely is 13? What is 13 on our randoms? 13. Bleachella. A book outside of your comfort zone. Okay, okay. Alrighty, Bleach Ella, a book outside of your comfort zone. <sighs> this also works really well for the Fearless Prompt, a book that intimidates you. This is House of Leaves by Mark Z. Danieluski. This is the Literally Dead Book Club pick for March, and I, I don't, I don't know what this is about at all. I tried to read a synopsis of it, and I just got more confused. It's mixed media, which is great. That makes it a little less intimidating, but still, this is so long. It's like 600 pages, and it just seems really outside of my comfort zone, so that works perfectly. All right, we still have two more songs, and I'm at 11 books. I better have a great reading month in March. This is not good. Okay, shuffle. Willow. Okay, okay, Willow. Okay, Willow is a book by an indigenous author. All right. So Willow, a book by an indigenous author. I have chosen The Only Good Indians by Stephen Graham Jones. I started this when it was the Literally Dead pick, book club pick last year and it is the only Literally Dead book club pick that I still have not gotten to. So I do want to reconcile that. I don't know much about this. I know this is a horror and I know it's about a group of men who killed a moose. And now they're being haunted? I don't actually, I don't know, but it sounds really weird and spooky, so I'm looking forward to it. Okay, last shuffle, maybe? Uh-huh. Daylight! Great! Okay, that's safe. All right, Daylight. What is Daylight's prompt? Daylight is an audiobook! Okay! Oh, I know why. Because of the voicemail at the end. <laughs> I think some of it, some of it's kind of random, like I wanted to fit, in a fit a prompt about an indigenous author in, so I just kind of like picked a random book, or I just picked um, a space for that, and then some of them are like connected, like the audiobook is because of the voicemail at the end of Daylight. Okay, so my last prompt was Daylight, an audiobook, and I still have a couple of Tis the Damn Readathon prompts to fulfill. So the one I'm going to be fulfilling is Taylor Swift, Read a Memoir. I'm going to be listening to Becoming by Michelle Obama. I own this book, but I have also had the audiobook checked out for a little bit on Libby, and I think I'm just going to renew it and read it in March because I really like reading. I really like listening to like memoirs and nonfiction books on audiobook, so that seems like a pretty good option for me. Okay, last up. Okay, so I wasn't able to make any of these books fit for an Evermore prompt. I was going to like squeeze The Only Good Indians as my mystery thriller for No Body, No Crime, but I was like, you know what? Evermore is my favorite album Taylor has ever come out with, and I don't want to stretch the prompt like that. Also, the Surprise Yourself prompt is like a random number generator, anything like that. So I have decided to give myself a 12th book, which is scary, <laughs> but I'm gonna do it, a round dozen, and I'm going to do a random number generator and pick a book for this prompt. Alrighty, so I have 198 books 
on my TBR. 119. I will be right back when I figure out what book that is. 18, 17, 18. I don't, I don't know where it is. It was re We Ride Upon Sticks by Quan Berry. I'm so excited. This, I think, is probably the book I'm most excited to read on my TBR, I think. I'm so excited. This is about a field hockey team that, like, makes deal with the devil to win. And apparently it's, like, super weird. Ayla from Books and La La said this was her favorite book of last year. I am so excited. Oh my gosh. I know this only, like, it doesn't actually help me with my, like, my prompts. It just helps with the readathon prompts. But, like, I need to read this. Like, this has to get done. And maybe I'll shift around the prompts. I don't know. My TBR game, my rules. I haven't come up with any punishments for what happens if I don't fulfill my prompts. So we'll see if I want to do punishments or if you guys have any ideas for punishments that are like Taylor Swift related, I think that would be kind of fun. Or, you know, add books, add something kind of thing. Let me know if you have any ideas. Let me know if you have any ideas for prompts or like changes at all to this. This is just me having fun in my mirror ball sweater. I will leave this link down below because I prefer the Dizzy Dahlia's merch to the official merch, but that's just me. My TBR for this month, plus some ebooks and an audiobook. And um, I'm scared. I'm like really scared because I really, I don't think, I don't know how this is gonna happen. We'll see, because especially like I'm gonna be working like way more in March, like in branch, not at home anymore. So pray for me. But like I said, let me know if you have any suggestions for punishments, prompts ways to make this better. I hope that all of my prompts are down below. I will link everything I said I was going to link down below. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you're taking part in Tis the Damn Readathon and let me know your favorite Taylor Swift song because I think that's important. But yes, thank you so much for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, all the normal stuff and I'll see you guys again really soon. Bye!